Hello, and welcome back to Let's Build. So we've got this beautiful, glorious scientific lab that you see there on the right. And today it's time to get down to neatening up what we've already built. So you can see here the Tinker's Construct smeltery, this big black square. It's right there, it looks pretty cool. No, who am I kidding? It looks awful. It's in the middle of the plains. It, it's completely exposed. So today, we're going to be building a blacksmith, an area dedicated to the Tinker's Construct smeltery. Because Tinker's is quite a deep mod. There's a lot to it. We're going to be have to make armor and weapons. So uh, let's get started. I've got a nice area over here that's already pathed and ready to go. But the core of this building is going to be the smeltery. So I'm using seared bricks here to mark out where the smeltery is going to be. Now most of the time, when you build a smeltery, you think, oh, it has to be quite tall uh, so that it can fit a lot of ore in there, so that it has a big capacity. But hang on a sec, why does the bottom of the smeltery have to be on your floor? Why can't you submerge it a little bit below the ground? And so that's what we've done here. We've got two layers of the smeltery being below the actual floor. Now you can see I've made a simple U-shape here, and the bricks we're using, so you know, are skystone bricks. And you can make these just with skystone. We're sticking fast to the rule that we can only use blocks that we've acquired while playing the game. So also wisdom wood here is a nice kind of wood, and it's as simple as putting logs into a puddle or a pool of liquid mana that you can find out in the world. So it's skystone bricks and uh, wisdom wood logs. We're also going to be using, I think, wisdom wood steps and planks for the flooring, because it's got that deep, rich brown texture that most woods don't have, apart from spruce, which is my second favorite behind, of course, mahogany. So there we go, we've got like an outline around the edge, uh, a base core of sky stone, the wisdom wood framework in logs, and now the steps, and then some wisdom wood fence posts that you can see, just to give it a bit of detail around the bottom of the build. So we're going for peaked roofs, even though we're building a kind of like a city base. I still like the blacksmith to be uh, loyal to the idea of a medieval fantasy. So we're creating kind of like a U-shaped peaked roof, and I got my calculations wrong a bit there. It wasn't quite purely symmetrical, so I had to move the uh, the second sprung of the blacksmith. And here you go, this is the attention to detail here. Putting down these stairs can take a lot of time getting them just right. But once they are just right, the look is, oh, it's nice. I do love myself a good peaked roof. But to keep it from being boring, we're adding detail. So you can see here at the front, uh, it's got like a bit of a, a stair raised up and we're putting slabs on top as well to just add that level of detail as well. And something I've seen a lot of people do that works quite well is along the peaked roof, add kind of like ridges. So we're gonna come back later and do those. Obviously stairs at the front and they'll need a pathway to get to them, so there you go. We'll also add some hedges in the way of oak leaves around the front because they always raise the, uh, the property value, the aesthetic value of a building tenfold. So behind the front peaked roof, I'm again using skystone here to create a kind of a, a more medieval building feel to the back of it. And what's this part of the building for? Well, I was thinking to myself, we're going to have to have a lot of space for weapon racks. We're going to make a lot of weapons while we're playing this game. And we're also going to make a lot of different armor sets. So how about a building at the back with lots of combat dummies and item frames that can hold all of the weapons and armor that we've crafted in the series. Good stuff. And we're making it tall in the middle and adding this kind of clock tower thing. Uh, again, same technique, wisdom wood logs, wisdom wood planks as the stairs, and skystone brick, just because it makes the build look better. Sometimes you build a building not for functionality, but for aesthetic, and that's what this top bit is. Now you'll notice that the peaked roof is slightly different here. It's not uh, purely diagonal. It uh, goes up in a bit of like a like a, a weird kind of spiky shape, like a spear, because I think that adds a bit to the build. And we've used, again, iron bars 
for the windows and some skystone steps as some windowsill detail. And now again, like I said, we're going to add some detail to the uh, edges of the peaked roof here. You can see skystone slab along the side and then skystone steps as bracing for the roof. Then coming around the back, more of that skystone bracing. It looks so good. And then some wisdom wood log planks, because, uh, not log planks, wisdom, wisdom wood plank stairs. There you go, that's the one. And again, yeah, some detail here with the windows at the back, because windows, again, just, just make everything look better. Who needs Linux when you have windows like these? And again, just this crisscross iron bar effect. So these are iron bars, but I've used a chisel with the chisel mod to make them a different shape, something a bit more blacksmithy. And we're leaning out with the peaked roof at the front and the back, just to give it a bit of a lip, because uh, makes it look a little bit better. And the rest of this now is just attention to detail, so filling in all the gaps, repeating that uh, the bracing pattern that we have around the front, and getting all the windows looking correct. With windows, I find uh, symmetry is the most important thing. Boom, and there we are. So we have completed the blacksmith, and this is a build I'm pretty happy with. I love it a lot. We've got wooden fences at the front and at the sides of the walls, just for detail. We're also using iron lanterns there, you can see. They're from Rustic, but they're very simple to make. And I kind of always want blacksmiths to be open to the air. Working in a blacksmith, it's a very hot, hot foundry kind of molten metal everywhere. Ooh, I can see a bit of a, a block there that needs changing. That's poor symmetry. Let me know if you can see it as well. Oh yeah, by the window. But I always feel like an open-air blacksmith is a much nicer look. Just to be able to swoop in, do your blacksmithing, and then swoop out. There's so many Tinker's tools that I can't wait to make in this series. In fact, me and Ben have been going backwards and forwards, working out what the best types of weapons are. And if you guys have any ideas about cool Tinker's Construct tools to make, let me know in the comments section. I want to make some shurikens, because I hear they're really badass. I also want to make uh, some bows, and I've heard plastic bows are very cool. But again, thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure to make this build. It's been a bit of a shorter one, but uh, you know what, I'm not going to drag it out just because I want to make a big build. Let me know in the comments section what you want to see more of. I want to do a power plant next in the style of Red Alert. There's also a few big projects coming up. Thank you for watching. As always, subscribe, check out the series. Let me know in the comments section what builds you want to see me do next, or if you have any ideas. And until next time, take care.